A parent does not have the right to seek to terminate their own parental rights. The only exception to this occurs in two circumstances. If a parent is able to locate a third party who is willing to assume their parental obligations in their place, such as where there is a step-parent adoption, then you may disclaim your rights to a child and through a legal process may codify the termination of your own parental rights. The second circumstance where this is possible is when the Division of Child Protection and Permanency has initiated an action seeking to terminate the parental rights of the parent at issue. If a termination of parental rights action has been filed, you may seek to surrender your rights to the state so that you no longer have rights or responsibilities regarding the child. In those circumstances, you would be doing what's known as a surrender. You surrender either a general surrender or an identified surrender. An identified surrender is when you choose the person that you want to raise your child in your place. The state has to accept your identified surrender. If you do a general surrender, the state must also accept the surrender. However, it is far less likely to receive a contest by the division if they have sought to terminate your rights and you choose to do a general surrender than if you seek to do an identified surrender.